strategic moment for a step, um, kind of a step change in youth mobilization and engagement. For those who may be late in catching up to the SDG conversation, it means sustainable development goals. And the implementation of these sustainable development goals has so far been limited with the stakeholders undermining efforts to reduce poverty, low investments in health and education, inadequate access to information, youth employment, disregarding the Paris um, ag uh, Climate Agreement and closing the space for legitimate dialogue. Now, young people are already suffering the impact of climate change and low investment in human capacity and infrastructural development. They are impatient as it is for change and they are not willing to accept inaction from the government as achieving these sustainable development goals is now pivotal to a better and inclusive society for youths and generations yet unborn. How do we unpack all of this today? How do we foster youth participation in the SDGs? And how do we learn to sit up and listen to the young ones in this respect? Joining me to do the unpacking, two amazing minds. Let me start first with the lady, Uche Arenze. Uche is a poetess. A poet. I don't know. I just think about poetess, actress, and stuff. A poet, a spoken word artist, a passionate leader, an educator with a focus on sustainable development goals. Uche, such a delight to have you join me today. Thank you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right. Um, also joining me is a Carrington Youth Fellowship and graduate of computer science. His name, Oboye Adeniji Uluwafemi. How are you doing, Uluruko? Welcome. <laughs> I'm doing fine. Okay, fantastic. Let's just wear that thing so, so you can pick me. And uh, guys, let's just move closer to the mic. Um, um, Uluwafemi, the surname is Adeniji or is it Boboye? Boboye is, Bobo is the surname. Yeah. Uluwafemi Adeniji Boboye is a data analyst and his core focus is you know, monitoring, evaluation, research, and learning. He's passionate, like Uche is, about the role of youths in achieving the SDG vision of 2030. Uh, and, of course, he's the coordinator of Youth Be Inspired initiative. Thanks once again for joining me, guys. Appreciate it. It's a player. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So let's go straight into the matter or matters at hand. Let me start straight. I'd like to know about a little bit of a background on the SDGs and how Nigeria is doing is in a, you know, towards achieving these goals. Who wants to go first? Uh, ah, Femi will go first. Okay. Mm. The, the, the SDG was uh, formulated in September 15, 2015. Mm -hmm. And uh, the impl implementation started on the 1st of, Ju of uh, January. Okay. 2016. Mm. Uh, the the SDGs are as we call them global goals. Okay. They, they are set of uh, goals for the world. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a blueprint uh, aimed at uh, creating a sustainable future for all. Okay. And um, uh, so far, so good. It's been three years down the line. And as far as Nigeria is concerned, uh, in Nigeria we have a, 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 a a special advisor to the president that is in charge of that. Okay. And uh, if I'm um, allowed to quote her, last year sometimes she said Nigeria is not actually doing badly mm -hmm. because there are certain indicators and uh, targets that we are supposed to, to follow mm. looking at what other countries are doing around the globe. Mm. So, so as it were, we, we are not really doing badly, but a lot of effort needs to be put into it if indeed we want to achieve Vision 2030. Mm. Well, Uche, you, you are passionate um, um, about this thing. You are an educator. Your focus is sustainable development goals. You are a young person. You, you are a poet. You are um, of the spoken word stock. 
tell me, what in your estimation is the level of youth participation in Nigeria on this, this sustainable development goals? As regards to sustainable development goals, uh, we've seen so much enthusiasm, so much uh, participation, so much youth level and mm. strength. Starting from 2015, like he said, mm. when, it, uh, when it all began, we've seen young people taking a hold of their future, taking a hold of the norms and seeing how they can create a better life and sustainable future through the sustainable development goals. So when we have the sustainable development goals, they are 17 in number. Mm. We have no poverty, we have quality education, we have clean water and sustainable health. We have so many of them. And the idea of this sustainable, sustainable development goal is each and every person can have access to clean water. Mm -hmm. Each and every person can have access to good energy, can have access to quality education. Each and every person can live a sustainable life. And the young, young people have, it has been really, really amazing seeing how young people have, have been able to raise the dike okay. in um, development, in the development space, in engaging uh, the government sec and uh, so many sectors, seeing how each and everybody can put in their quota to achieving the 2030 agenda. That's mm. the Sustainable Development Goals agenda. All right, um, Femi, you, you want to add to that? Um, Nigerian Youth SDGs, um, it's a term I've been hearing more, you know, more recently. And, and, and in this era where there is a clarion call globally for yeah. young people to rise up and be heard, lend a voice. Um, and at a time when we have had fears as to the timelines of some of these uh, uh, development goals and whether certain parts of the world, the entire world itself, can achieve those set goals within the timelines. Um, a lot of call has been made for young people to really come up and drive it. I, I, I that's imagine true. that's what, well, that's more or less the reason why uh, mm -hmm. people like you have taken this um, this call. Um, so t just tell us about the, the Nigerian youth. SDGs. Okay. Uh, if you look at what I said earlier on that, uh, the Sustainable Development Goals mm. is a blueprint for a sustainable future. Mm. So when we're talking about the future, the future, you can't talk about the future and you exclude the young people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because they are actually the future. Mm. So what we've had in the time past is whenever we're talking about issues that, that talk to, that address things of the future, uh, the major player, which, which are the young people themselves that are going to lead in the future, are mm. often time left out. So the reason why we have this network is because we felt that it's time for us to have this inclusion of these young people on issues that, that directly affect them. Mm. So when we are discussing issues of health, education, we, if you look at all the data that are available, we are going to see that most of the people that are solving the adverse effect of all these particular problems are the young people. So when we have these conversations, it's very good for us to, as a nation, for us to have these young people also involved so that because Oftentimes what we have observed in this country is whenever we are developing a program for young people or for anybody as it were, we don't develop program from the lenses of the beneficiary with that because we don't immerse ourselves in their realities. Mm -hmm. Young people have their own realities that are different from what we know or what any other person that's not in their shoes or in their, in their class or, or, or level will be able to understand. So we, what we're advocating at Nigeria Youth SDG level is to ensure that young people become the driver, that means we take hold of our future such that we that that's why we come together to to provide a platform for everybody so that we are not just doing everything uh, without coordination mm. so we are coming together as a, as, as a as a coalition like i would like to point that out we have about 200 uh youth led organizations that are involved in this uh, network so we come together okay what do we need to know because passion without you having the required skill to be able to do what you need to do is not going to take you far so we we gather at to have conversation how to improve what we do so that we can improve our outcomes and then we network so that we can leverage on what your gains or your your strengths are mm. what you are good at what i'm not good at so i can le leverage on what you're good at so together we can so the language that we speak is is is, is a collective language it's, a, it's that of collaboration mm. not uh, competition it's that of synergy where we gather together we we, we have a program that we organize monthly 
we have workshops we've had workshops in uh, in ondo in edo mm. in abuja before and uh we're planning in Ogun, and this and uh, we have a wonderful program that we're planning mm. also uh, which is to is, uh, is, is going to be for for 20 states all right so uh, I'm, I'm going to come back into the specifics of okay. some of these programs yeah um, because, you see, the years, particularly 2017 and 2018, saw a slowing down of some of the momentum that had been garnered um, along the actualization of these development goals, these mm -hmm. global goals. We, we've seen uh, uh, climate change climate denials change, yeah. Yeah. from, you know, high up the echelon. Yeah. We've seen one, uh, perhaps the top, the top most... Uh, world superpower pullout of the um, the Paris Agreement, yes, yeah. uh, and just that palpitation and that um, fear that all the hard work that had been been put into this yeah. thing might go down to waste. Yeah. Uh, um, however, the tide seems to be changing. Uh, the period between this year and 2020 uh, is now seen as having the potential to foster irreversible momentum for enhanced ambition. Uh, in 2020 to deliver on the SDGs. That is an, uh, an opportunity here to do something that somebody cannot just wake up tomorrow and throw it in the trash. So which brings me back to what are some of these specific activities uh, that uh, um, you are working on for the immediate future to try and use the opportunity to also talk to us about an event that we have coming up in August. Um, you you are at the heart of that event. You have an event in August? Yeah. Yes, yeah, certainly. I would like to hear about that. But um, Uche, are there any events that, uh, I mean, any activities that you want to share with us that is aimed at trying to make sure we seize this momentum, this opportunity, this 2019, 2020 period that we have to really do something um, that will last, that will outlast us. Okay, we, we have a, a, a program coming up on August 10th. Okay. And it's in, in commemoration of the International Youth Day. Oh, beautiful. So the, uh, the idea of the program is it's more like a regional youth dialogue mm -hmm. where we are going to gather um, 2,000 young people on how we can implement the SDGs mm -hmm. and how we can sustain them and how we can also see how we can make each and every government sector be accountable for these goals what have they done so far how have they been able to implement or localize the sdgs in each and every state in mm -hmm. each and every locality so the idea of the internet that's the regional youth dialogue is to gather young people to gather young people to implement these changes that mm. we all want to see because the truth about it is like like femi said our future is really <laughs> is really in uh, let me use will i will i say danger is really in danger if we don't do something now if mm. we don't act now if we don't form a formidable force that is going to make each and everybody know that we are really serious about development we are really serious about growth we are really serious about implementing each and every of these sustainable development goals mm. in Nigeria. So the regional youth dialogue is going to be happening on August 10th and is in commemoration of the International Youth Day and each and every young person who is passionate about development, who is passionate about it, any subject that borders or um, bothers his mind, he or she can come up with ideas, he or she can come up with solutions on how we can work as a team because like Femi said, we don't we don't we don't scatter our strengths in mm. different areas we look for people who would collaborate and who we could partner with to see that the nigerian youth sdgs implement the sustainable development goal or the 2030 agenda before 2030 yeah so you, uh femi you are looking at a two-year strategy or something uh, a strategic plan to help government and business work with uh, young people uh, for power actions within the identified SDGs. W what's the theme of this event that you are um, working to have? Yeah. And is it a one-off thing? Is it just a Lagos event? No, it's not. A, no, no, it's not a Lagos event. Share with us. Uh, it's we are going to be having it in 20 states. Wow. And, and to be spread across the six geopolitical zones in Nigeria. Mm. And uh, what we are trying to do is to 
There's something we call the localizing the SDG. Mm -hmm. Because what is poverty in uh, New York is not poverty in Ajegun. Yeah. Mm. So people need to understand the context from which they are actually developing their uh, uh, interventions mm -hmm. or whatever they want to advocate. So because if you want to advocate for gender equality in Southwest, it's not the same way you're going to. You're not going to use the same approach in the mm -hmm. North. Mm -hmm. So people need to understand the peculiarity of the environment where they're playing. So this consultation is for youth actors in these, in these uh, states or in this particular locality to be able to come together and have this conversation. How are we going to go about this? Then develop an actual plan. Okay, this is what we want to do. So take, for example, we have like five organizations, including NGOs or CSOs, and the volunteers and young people that are just passionate about positive change in the environment, coming together to have this conversation. Okay, this is what we can do. This is what we want to do. Then they can articulate them, send them to the, the, the key stakeholders or decision makers that this is what we will serve to do as young people. We want this, we want this, we want that. And that this is how we are going to help you achieve this because we're not just going to be a bystander in all of this. In this conversation, we are going to play a role, an active role for that matter. But we are going to have an actual plan that these are our demands so that we have a, we have a, a common front. That, okay, this is what we want. We, we, we are suffering from lack of education in this community Obviously. and we, know, we understand that you are actually in charge of this. Mm -hmm. We've had a conversation and we know that you, the Nigeria as a country, has signed on to this agreement that everybody that we should have access to quality education and what we have now is not quality education. I want to improve on this and these are the ways that we feel we can help us improve on it. And then we, we will also be a part of it. We also, if we need to advocate, we need to help you source for funds, we need to help you uh, uh, re, uh, go, on, go online and make advert or do a social media skit to get funding for you to do anything that we can to support this particular goal. We are going to do that. So that, those are the, so we, what we are trying to do is to make sure that these young people own this particular program and they come together in different states. They, then we submit these documents and they become an action plan that we'll be following up on. Okay, we go to your, we have you submitted your document to in Ondo State, for example, or in Ogun State. Uh, because the problems are not the same. What mm -hmm. is what is what is uh, what is top on our priorities in Lagos might not be the same thing in, in Ondo State. Okay. So we have traffic problem here in Lagos. I, I, I doubt if they have the same in Osho. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if they have, it's not in the same degree. Yeah. So so the priority they are going to give to them will be different. So we can't just have a general feel like okay, this is. But we just like so we want to amplify everybody's voices. We want to give voice to everybody. That's the thing. We want to amplify everybody, ensure that we are not leaving anybody behind, mm -hmm. ensure that whilst you are there, you are actually uh, pushing the boundary of, uh, of, of, of change so that you, in a, in a very civil manner, in a, in a way that you are actually sitting down and having a conversation. Mm -hmm. Because until you, you show to the leaders or the stakeholders, like all those tell people, the only reason why anybody is going to invite you to the table See if you have demonstrated enough competence to mm. show that you can actually deliver something. Interesting. So what we are trying to do is to ensure that these young people understand these things because we are going to, uh, uh, unlike you are, uh, in answering to your previous question, you said, is it going to be a one-off? No, it's not going to be a one-off. Mm. It's a yearly program. Uh, we'll be doing this. We'll be follow there will be a lot of, of follow-up programs. We'll be organizing workshops in all the states to, to measure what they have done, how far they have done, uh, uh, what can be done, the gaps, how can they improve on what they have done. So, mm. so a lot of stuff we have packed up. So 15 states, and I'm just 20 checking. States. 20. 20 states. 20 and states. And I'm, I'm checking um, the list, some of your locations. I, I see Adam, Adamawa, Adamawa yeah. Abuja, Abuja, there's yeah. Cross River, mm -hmm. Benue, Bauchi, Gombe. Kaduna. Yes. Uh, Imo, uh -huh. uh, yes. Oshun, Oyo, uh, Rivers, yes. uh, Lagos, of course, you've been mentioning mm -hmm. Undo. Um, you guys are a coalition of 208 youth led civil society organizations driving the localization of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals in Nigeria and you're doing it through advocacy and uh, through this SDG uh, project uh, implementation. Um, this endeavor you are embarking on, um, what, how much participation are you hoping uh, to uh, engender at the end of the day? Um, I know you are trying to cover the six geopolitical zones yes. of the country. Uh, like, what is your strength? I know that there are over 200 youth-led civil society organizations. How about individual particip participation, yeah. membership? Mm -hmm. There's room okay. for that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, We have room mm -hmm. for that. What we have done is to ensure that the, the, in the states, 
how we have a, where we have a person like organization that's part of the coalition. Mm -hmm. So they'll be, they be the one championing it. Yeah. Why open? We have room for other uh, young people to That's also join. Okay. Uh, right now we have a form online where young people can just sign up. Where? Volunteer. Where? Where do they go online? Okay, so uh, they go to the Twitter account. Yeah. On, mm. on the on the Twitter account of the Nigerian Youth SDGs, we have a link where you can sign up as an individual. Do we know the Twitter handle? Uh, Nigerian Youth SDGs. Nigerian Youth SDGs. Exactly. So they can just sign it. Oh, yes. Okay. So there's a link there. We have a Facebook, we have a website. We have a website, yeah. Just the same thing, go to mm. the website, you mm -hmm. get information. Mm -hmm. Then you you you, are, you in, uh, indicate the state you want to volunteer, volunteer. or maybe you, maybe you are in those states, mm -hmm. you live in those states or in Okiti or wherever yeah. you might be, then you volunteer there. You just uh, you liaise with the CSO or the organization that is actually driving it in that state. Mm. Interesting. Um, <sighs> Once again, the theme is Amplifying Youth Voices for the SDGs. And it's August 10, yeah, August, August 10, 2019. In all these many locations we've mentioned. And just in case you missed it, there is Ab Abuja, Adamawa, Bauchi, Benue, Cross River State, River State, Enugu, Gombe, Imo, Kaduna, Kano, uh, or your state, Ondo State, or Shun State, and of course, Lagos, uh, yeah. Lagos State. All right, um, Uche and Femi, uh, before I let you go, what is your call to action on Agenda 2030? You might choose who wants to go, or you, <laughs> might, you might have separate calls to action, or okay. part one, part two. <laughs> okay, I would like to start. Okay. okay, my call to action is this. We, we have to understand, uh, we have to, as young people, we need to develop competence. Mm -hmm. We need to take time to understand the complexity of our nation mm -hmm. and then develop uh, means on how to be able to be part of the solution mm -hmm. and not just complain. And then we need to start engaging ourselves. Mm. Yeah. Uh, by It is when you engage yourself in productive, uh, productively that uh, you have given yourself a chance of being uh, engaged for further things. Mm -hmm. And then other, another thing I would like to say is that for starting advocating for social inclusion for youth, we need to be involved in every issue that affects us because the future is for us. And most people that are actually uh, making decisions that will affect us are not going to be part of the future. Mm. Mm -hmm. So we should be more passionate about this because it is about us yeah. more. How about you, Che? You seem to agree, <laughs> but uh, what has he left out? Or what, could, what, what is there to add, call to action? For me, I'm, I'm looking at, so uh, I'll be s I'm saying to myself, what, what, what kind of future do I want to have Mm. Not just for myself as a person, but for the future unborn, 10 years from now, 5 years from now, would we still have the same um, systems that in court is not working, still be in place? So for example, if we talk about education, we all know that technology is playing a major role mm. in education. What has Nigeria done so far in the area of education and technology? Mm. So I'm saying to myself, 10 years from now, would all the, would would we still have the curriculums and all the in quote all the things that we are using as a means mm. of educating people? Would this still be valid ten years from now? Would this still be valid fifteen years from now? So if the the answer is yes, what are we doing to make sure we preserve those culture? To make sure we preserve in quote the means of educating the young people? If the answer is no, mm. then it means we have a lot to do. We really do have a lot to do. It means our curriculum will definitely be outdated and obsolete very soon. Mm. So young people really need to step up their game. We really need to push and see that our future is not just in other people's hands, but it's in our hands and seeing how we can drive this future, seeing how we can drive a sustainable life, mm. sustainable well-being for each and everybody. Because the truth about it is, it's not just about me. It's, it's not just about uh, my children. It's mm. not about. It's not just about other people or other people's children. It's about a country. It's about the preservation of of, of our heritage and culture. Okay. How can we do this through the Sustainable Development Goals? Thank you very much for uh, joining me, Uche Arinze, a poet, spoken word artist, passionate leader, and educator. Thank you for joining us. Awesome. Thank you so much. You too, Femi. Adeni Jiboboye, Carrington Youth Fellowship.
uh, uh, Carrington Youth Fellow and uh, graduate of computer science, data analyst uh, with focus on monitoring, evaluating, researching, and learning. Thank you, Femi, for coming. And uh, you can get more information on their website, www.nigerianyouthsdgs.org. Nigerian Youth SDGs. Dot org, also on social media, Nigerian youth, at Nigerian Youth SDGs. The Nigerian Youth SDGs aim to amplify the voices of youth who are ready to take action and demand for transformational change towards achieving the SDGs in Nigeria. And, of course, to connect with the youth and civil society organizations across Nigeria to call for ambition and to build a basis to further explore uh, for strategic collaboration into 2020, 2030, and beyond. That's the show this week. Development Report is a map media production. It's produced by Mayowa Adeniro. I'm Femi Obong Daniels, promising to be back same time next week. In the meantime, have a fantastic weekend right up ahead. <laughs> <laughs>